Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. So yesterday we welcomed four little chicks into the world. Oh god, hair in my eye. <laughs> we welcomed four little chicks into the world and uh, yeah, it kind of gives you hope doesn't it in times like this. Life still goes on and uh, two of those chicks weren't going to hatch, they wouldn't have made it if we didn't intervene so we had to help them out of the shell but thank god it worked and uh, the kids well it, it, it was an absolutely new experience for them seeing that in action and uh, they really enjoyed it so this morning I've driven across to the brewery and the pub um, and whilst there's not really going to be any work going on here today I have to pick up the uh, timesheets for last week so we can start to process the wages for the staff or at least 80% of them 80% of the wages not the staff so I've had to make uh, a phone call this morning which I didn't want to make to our landlord uh, for the brewery I'm yet to speak to the landlord for the pub and ask if we can defer the rent payments until um, until we get some type of aid from the government which has been promised to us but is yet to materialize so uh, even though it may appear on the surface that there's a rescue package out there and uh, you know thank Boris or thank Rishi yeah they're not moving fast enough we don't have any financial support at the moment and it is on the business on the back of the business that this burden has been placed and um, we have to try and do our best to make sure everybody gets a little bit of money to see us through these dire times and well it's a bit of a juggling act so thankfully um, our landlord is he really is great he's let us put off two-thirds of the um, the rent he needs a third I'm sure he won't mind me divulging this he needs a third for his interest you know and I'm aware that most of the people who rent have mortgages on their buildings and uh, I am actually really grateful that he's allowed us to do that so that takes the pressure off a little bit that means we can pay some people some wages this week without actually going into liquidation which nobody wants to happen it won't happen by the way but uh, I don't want to put us into a position where the company is completely insolvent and there's no money in the account and then <laughs> Uh, a less, uh, uh, or should I say, a more scrupulous company comes along and takes it, tries to take a direct debit out for something and the money's not there. And they could potentially, I don't know what the legislation is on this, they could potentially put a winding up order against your name. I'm not going to let that happen, so I have to see if I can maintain um, at least a little bit of cash in the account uh, for contingencies. And if 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 I need to, I'll be going around banging on doors of the banks to try and get one of these business interruption loans but I can tell you now they've not made it easy to get them at all and uh, I've been trying over the past couple of days to get through and from what I can tell is they're being cheeky and they're asking for personal guarantees these are meant to be government backed business interruption loans and uh, to put your house on the line as well as your business is asking a lot for people who have potentially just lost their businesses you know so don't for a minute don't for a minute think that this Tory government is doing all they can they are literally doing as little as possible without watching the country tank so mini rant over let's get on with the day i need to pick up the time sheets and hopefully nip over to uh the royal mail sorting depot and pick up a parcel that's there for me and we've had some good news from bassett law licensing department it looks like we will be able to open and sell as an off license as long as we observe the government's regulations on social distancing so if we do that uh, well let's go in and i'll show you what my plans are looks like we have a little bit of mail empower i can't see them helping us out in times of crisis i bet this is a demand and what did i tell you 21st of march bastards 
these people here, these people here, the worst of the corporate world. So I don't want this video to turn into one long continuous rant against capitalism, which is a real friggin' danger of it happening. Uh, so let's talk about how we're going to work this to turn the brew shed into an off license for a couple of hours on a weekend. So my plan is we have this door as an entrance and this door as an egress or an exit and on the bar we have mini kegs and bottles stacked asunder and uh, we partition this section off so nobody can go through here into the restaurant area or downstairs and people come in and they say hello barman and I say I'm not a barman I'm now a shopkeeper with an off license and they pick up a mini keg and come over here and they pay us for said mini keg and then they leave and enjoy their mini keg at home and then in cometh the next customer and we'll do that until all the mini kegs and all the bottles are gone or there are no more customers turning up so I'm not sure if it's on here but this is our license and uh, we have an on license and an off license I wonder if it says there we go so where let's have a look let me see, see if I can read this where the licenses where the license authorizes supply of alcohol whether these are on or off supplies and as you can see the sale by retail of alcohol for consumption on and off the premises so there we go and that means that we can open up in the permitted hours for the sale of alcohol from 11 in the morning and we can start selling to uh, to anybody who wants a mini keg <laughs> God, I got there in the end didn't I but you know what I mean but we won't be having any on sales whatsoever so we're going to take all this off the shelves anyway a few people have said take them away because if people see all the spirits through the window or through the doors they may be inclined to try and burgle us well forget not burglars we have CCTV and alarms so we'll find you right let's uh, what was this actually let's go into the brewery We've got the time sheets I think they're in here and we'll go to Royal Mail sorting depot so I've just zipped up a few pieces of timber on the table so this will put us together a little brooder box for the chicks tonight so they'll keep them warm hopefully the bigger chick on its own will survive all right without having the brooder because we're gonna have to pinch it now obviously for the babies so we're home folks I know it's only half past 12 you might not but I do I'm having a friggin homebrew there's no do to boot it and in the meantime you may be able to hear that Kevin's doing some exercises in the living room I'm not allowed in so I'm gonna to put together the brood box for the chickens I'll probably speed this up on a time-lapse or something so cue crummy music
off. So we've taken all the chicks, we've dipped their beaks in the water and we've popped them under the brooder. So they now know where the heat is and they know where their mummy is. This is basically taking the place of mother hen's nice warm belly. So they've got some food here. We have to figure out what we're going to do for, um, sorry we've got some water here, we can figure out what we're going to do for the food because the other chick at the moment has got the food so we might have to just get another feeder. I think I've got another one somewhere and uh, we'll make sure that they've both got one each. When these are a little bigger I'm going to try and introduce the other bigger chick into this brood box and you Reginald yeah, he's here. Here's Reggie, look. Come in to see what's going on. He's interested in these chicks for dinner, I think, maybe. So we have to make sure he stays away. Don't get eating them chicks, Reginald. Okay? Don't eat them chicks. You've eaten everything else in the house. So this thing here... There's a spider on it. Yeah, that's fine. This makes it Reggie-proof. <laughs> so you can watch the chicks all day. And you can and watch that spider. Yeah, there's a spider there. <laughs> the chicks will eat that spider. And uh, hopefully they enjoy their new home and grow up really fast. This one. So here's the other chick with one of Abigail's old playhouse uh, scenes. Just to give him a bit of shade if the sunshine comes out. But we've got him behind the main chicken pen as well and the sun's up and behind that. So he's not going to overheat out here. But we need to try and wean him off the heat lamp. So if anything, tonight we'll be providing him some background heat with a tubular heater from Screwfix. What's the matter, Reggie? He's on, under my armpit. Aren't you? Mister, <laughs> he's interested in all these new things coming into the home. No. Good old vegetable, <laughs> Reggie the veggie. I like meat. <laughs> we thought we'd let the little chick stretch his legs for a bit. That's not his mother by the way, she's just a bantam that we've had for about three years. <laughs> And he's, How old would you say she is? Uh, three years old and I think the chick is uh, 23, 24 days old. <laughs> so not very old at all. And those ones are just like one day old. And the new ones are one day old, yeah. So they don't seem to be fighting, which is promising. We've got another chick as well who's, she's sat in the nest box in there. Hopefully laying us a little egg for tomorrow's breakfast. Well, a few more. Yeah, do like the chickens do. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Do. <laughs> so far they're getting along. Yeah, they are getting along. <laughs> it's good. It's a lovely day. It's a bit cold. Stop for a lunch break. A couple of homegrown eggs, a bit of langhams, lingams, chilli sauce, and uh, yeah, some wickinger, hot dogs, an onion to make an omelette. Nick Ferrari at breakfast, weekday mornings from 6.30 LBC Business Centre, Hope So I managed to go out to Tool Station. The hinges were purchased for finishing off Abigail's desk. When I went back to the pub, I picked up these chilies. We're going to try and make a homemade chili sauce for the pub. 
the stuff that we were playing about with before the restaurant closed was very similar to Frank's hot sauce which is too vinegary for our taste so we're going to look at something a little bit different and then also if we nip out into the backyard you'll see that we've managed to pick up the chicken wire this is what we wanted first and foremost this galvanized net in 25 mil uh, squares in it for this little fella to live in so we need to make him a run and well a nest box and everything else really and then we've still got the little chicks out here they're cheaping a little bit because I've just taken them out to put this food and water in there so they might be a little bit cold what they tend to do is all huddle together when it's cold and cheap quite a bit you can see one popping out of the side there if we just focus come on focus down there thank you very much so yeah you might be able to see him oh, he's gone back under now but uh, yeah they make a bit of racket when they're not warm enough so it's a nice audible alarm to lower the brooder a little bit which we have done so they're going to stay nice and cozy in there for the rest of the day but to be quite frank talking of frank's hot sauce <laughs> it's a bloody lovely day out it's a real shame isn't it that we're dealing with this virus outbreak the beer garden would be rammed today so to alleviate the boredom today we've made some stilts Shall we have a go, Abs? See if we yeah. can see if we can have a walk around on them. <laughs> well, then you've come here, and you get. They're not very easy, are they? No. There, <laughs> ah, she fell off. <laughs> Over to the blue bin. <laughs> you got your feet on him. Ten. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah. Scratch your foot? No, I'm good. You gotta be careful you can do. I I wasn't hardly holding then, you know. Look at the camera. <laughs> Pull a funny face. <laughs> Do you want me to pull a funny face? Yeah. I'll pull this one here, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> 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 